Hey, this is America Strong, the strongest woman in professional wrestling, and you're watching The Jam and Music Man. me jamming music man how the hell you doing i haven't been on youtube in over a month can you believe it i've missed you guys but anyway i'm back today i'm going to be reviewing the wwe's wrestlemania 33 where i'm gonna give you guys the match listings uh what i thought about this year's wrestlemania and whether or not i recommend you picking it up or not but first off i got to say if you come to Georgia for summer vacation, you are crazy as hell. It is hot as hell down here. You might be saying, well, Jamming Music Man, how come you ain't got the air conditioning on? I do. I just choose to do my YouTube videos in this little alleyway right here, and it don't have no air. So if I'm sitting here busting a sweat like Brother Love, forget it. Okay, enough of that. But anyway, WrestleMania 33 took place... In Orlando, Florida, it was hosted by the New Day, and I gotta be honest, you guys, I thought this year's WrestleMania was just okay. That's right, just okay. There was a couple of notable good matches, but all in all, it was just okay. Uh, some of my favorite matches were uh, AJ Styles taking on Shane McMahon. That was a good one. Of course, the TLC match with the return of the Hardy Boys. That was a good one, and of course, you know, Roman Reigns beating The Undertaker. That's right, that was the main event, because going into this, I really didn't even know what the main event was, but the main event was Undertaker taking on Roman Reigns, and of course, Roman wins, and from what it looks like, this is The Undertaker's last ride, you know. I'm pretty sure you guys by now have seen The Undertaker leaving his hat and his gloves and his his little uh, his jacket in the ring. And, uh, you know, I guess this was the last match for The Undertaker. I mean, but if I had to be honest, I could l had to live with Brock Lesnar being the only one that beat The Undertaker at WrestleMania. I could have lived with that, but now knowing that there's... Two men who have beat The Undertaker at WrestleMania, and that other man is Roman Reigns. That kind of, you know, gave me mixed feelings. But um, I'm going to let you guys right now get a good look of the front cover of the DVD in the back. And then I'm going to let you guys get a good look of what it looks like on the inside. All right, guys. You're taking a good look of what it looks like on the inside. There you see The Undertaker with the WrestleMania sign in the background. There you see a couple of pictures from the Roman Undertaker match. Plus you get a Raw card. I got a Raw card with Seth Rollins. And there you see Triple H and the beautiful Stephanie. Triple H riding his Harley like he's ready to kick some ass. And there's a couple of pictures from the Rollins Triple H match. And then we have on the inside, there's Y2J taking on Kevin Owens, AJ and Shane McMahon. There's the discs. This is what it looks like on the inside. And on disc two, there you get John Cena and Nikki Bella. There's a picture of the Bray Wyatt, Randy Orton match. And on disc three is the Hall of Fame uh, ceremony. There's a picture of Charlotte doing a moonsault on top of Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch. And there you see you got the Hardy Boys. But there's a good look of what it looks like on the inside. All right, you guys. You just got a good look of what it looks like on the inside of the DVD. Uh, let's see. On disc one, you get a... Uh, a performance of America the Beautiful by um, recording artist Tanache. I think that's how you pronounce her name. I gotta be honest, I've never heard of her. Apparently she's like a new pop singer, superstar. 
Uh, matches you get on disc one, you get Shane McMahon's taking on AJ Styles. One of my favorite matches from this year's WrestleMania. Uh, you get the United States Championship match. You get Chris Jericho taking on Kevin Owens. Uh, that was another good match. Um, a fatal four-way elimination match for the Raw Women's Belt. You get Bailey taking on Sasha Banks, taking on Charlotte Charlotte Flair versus Nia Jax. It, it was an okay, decent match. I got to say, last year's WrestleMania Diva match, that was a pretty good one. The three-way with Charlotte, and Becky, and Sasha, that was a good one. Um, this is, was another uh, great match. Uh, it was the TLC match for the Raw Tag Team Belts. You get Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson taking on Enzo and Big Cass, taking on Cesaro and Sheamus with a surprise return of the Hardy Boys. And I got to say, the Hardy Boys return was uh, the biggest pop of the night, without a doubt. I mean, even the Roman Undertaker match, nothing compared to the pop. The crowd got when they heard the return of the Hardy Boys. Uh, and of course, John Cena and Nikki Bella taking on the Miz and Maurice in a mixed tag team match. It was okay. And of course, I'm pretty sure you know by now that after the match, John Cena proposed to Nikki Bella. Congratulations. Not really. Okay, and the next match. This one was a pretty decent match right here. In a non-sanctioned match, it was Seth Rollins taking on Triple H. A lot of people didn't think Seth Rollins was going to make it to WrestleMania, but he did, and it was a pretty good match. And I want to say the Seth Rollins-Triple H match, it was about maybe 30 minutes long, but it was awesome nonetheless. On disc two, you get a musical performance from uh, Pitbull with Lunch Money Lewis, uh, Stephen Marley, and Flo Rida. Um, I believe Pitbull had the uh, the theme song for WrestleMania, I believe. Or it might have been Flo Rida, I can't remember. Uh, but anyway, the WWE Championship match, Bray Wyatt taking on Randy Orton. Uh, this match wasn't all that long. I want to say this match might have been maybe less than 10 minutes, but of course, Randy Orton uh, ends up capturing the WWE Championship. Spoiler alert. Uh, and of course, for the Universal Championship match, you get Brock Lesnar taking on Goldberg. And of course, Brock Lesnar beats Goldberg, captures the heavyweight title in just a few short minutes. And, uh, you know, of course, all Goldberg matches are pretty short anyway, but Brock Lesnar ends up capturing the belt in a six-pack challenge match for the SmackDown uh, women's title. You get Alexa Bliss taking on Naomi, uh, Becky Lynch, uh, Mickey James, Natalya, Carmella. Okay, decent match. And uh, the main event, Roman Reigns taking on The Undertaker. And, of course, we all know now Roman ends up beating The Undertaker. And like I said, I could have lived with Brock Lesnar being the only one that beat The Undertaker, but it didn't happen that way. Roman Reigns is the second person to beat The Undertaker. And of course, the next night on Raw, Roman Reigns got booed the hell out of the building. And of course, on disc three, you get uh, the Hall of Fame 2017 and Duck D's. You get Diamond Dallas Page, one of my all-time favorites, the Rock and Roll Express. Great tag team. I had the privilege of uh, meeting and interviewing the Rock and Roll Express about a year ago, and it's here on my channel for anybody who's interested and wanting to see that interview or that show. Uh, Ravishing Rick Rude, he gets inducted this year. Another one of my all-time favorites, and throughout Rick Rude's career, he was never once a babyface. He was always a heel, but he was one of the all-time best. Uh, next person, you get Beth Phoenix. She gets inducted. Um, the Warrior Award, special inductee, um, Eric Legrand, who was uh, a college football player who had a tragic accident that uh, left him paralyzed. He gets inducted. Um, Teddy Long, you know, you know, Teddy Long, he was a former NWA referee, and then he ends up becoming the managers of, uh, you know, legendary tag team Doom. I always liked Doom as a kid, and Teddy Long's managed a lot of, uh, you know, 
awesome superstars over the years. And of course, the man that closed out the Hall of Fame show, one of my all-time favorites, Kurt Angle. But uh, I, I really enjoyed this year's Hall of Fame. But like I said, this year's WrestleMania was just okay. And I picked this up at my local Walmart. And uh, whew, it is hot, I'm telling you. <laughs> I picked this up at my local Walmart. And I spent maybe $20. But if you're a diehard wrestling fan, I would probably say, hey, yeah, go for it. But to be honest, like I said, there's only a really couple of great moments at this year's WrestleMania. And the show was just kind of... All right, but all in all, if you want to pick it up, you love wrestling, and if you love WrestleMania, hey, go for it. But guys, I'm Jamming Music Man. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, like my channel, subscribe to my channel, or let me say, like this video. But guys, I'm Jamming Music Man. Thanks for watching. Woo! Stay cool, and I will see you guys next time.